Today we're here in the Southern Madison Range conducting research with the Forest Service National Avalanche Center on propagation. But what I want to look at is right down here near the ground. We have these facets that formed in early December and it's just shocking. We've had a lot of warm weather in town. We're wearing short sleeve shirts. Spring is here. But the real take home point is that this stuff, this garbage at the bottom of the snowpack hasn't gone away. And right now we haven't had a lot of new snow. So it's hard to trigger an avalanche on that and I bet you won't. It's just good to remember that it's there and the times when we can trigger an avalanche are right after we get a big load. And this garbage, this fat, these facets and the sugar snow at the ground is stressed. And if you were to ride in an area like this, the snowpack is a little bit thinner or maybe a rocky area where you could impact this weak layer, you could definitely trigger an avalanche. So even though it's beautiful and sunny out, just don't forget about this, especially after we get, uh, when we get some of these big spring storms and we put a load on top of the snowpack.